Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Nadine Baggett, a health and beauty journalist of over 30 years standing, who also works across Instagram and YouTube. And today I'm particularly honored to present this, what I think is probably going to be the most exciting skincare launch, certainly in my recent memory. And it's in conjunction with somebody who I consider a friend, a beauty icon, and also a creator of one of the most interesting skincare and beauty brands around, Terry de Gunsberg. Hello, Terry, how are you? Hello, Nadine, how are you? I'm so happy to see you and so happy to be here with you and to share my uh, Empowerhouse innovation. And uh, I knew we had to join our conviction and our force our love for skincare, makeup, ingredients, science, to talk about this uh, new launch and to explain how great it is and why it's such a great innovation. Well, this is what's interesting to me is you and I have had a chat about this and we have both realized that certain ingredients have a power that goes above and beyond a simple ingredient. I know that you are so passionate about hyaluronic acid you were the first person i think to ever talk to me about the skincare beauty makeup hybrid that is hyaluronic acid and your hyaluronic powder so let's go back a little bit in time before we introduce the brand new and i think completely groundbreaking skin cream let's talk about your history with hyaluronic acid and talk about this which is your hyaluronic powder let's go back to that moment in the lab when you discovered this incredible ingredient you know, Nadine, you're so right. It's really, a dis it was a discovery. It was randomly by chance. You know, I spent a lot of time in the lab with scientists. You know how much I love science. We've met, what, 30 years ago when I was uh, creating things for other big brands. So by chance, I touch an amazing texture immaculate powder like a whisper of powder of cloud of white powder and i said what is that powder it's it's sounds so different and they said it's not a powder it's pure ingredients is hyaluronic acid spherical coated micro powders that we put usually in skincare, in foundation. At that time, it was in skincare almost 10 years ago. And I put that white miracle uh, powder on my face and suddenly it's, it feels like wet, but also mattifying my skin. And I say, oh, it's the best sealing powder. And I feel my skin so hydrated especially around the eye and they said okay let's do a loose powder like that and they said but we can't. i remember you remember sorry no i remember i remember the first time you you put it in front of me and i touched it and i was what magic is this this is a powder that feels hydrating that mattifies that soft focuses that blurs but doesn't sit in any fine lines it was truly a sort of light bulb moment for my, myself as a journalist, let alone you as a beauty creator and brand owner. And I remember, I, re I remember when you said that, and it was exactly the same feeling I had at the lab with my scientist around me. And I said, okay, let's, I want that in a box. I, I want that to become my setting powder. And they said, it's quite impossible. And I said, yes, it's, it's possible. I can't take a no for an answer. So we worked a lot to make it, let's say the unique ingredients in this powder. And I make a long story short, it became for 10, since 10 years now, our best seller. It's like a skincare setting powder that each time you apply around your eyes, on your skin to set your makeup, it's like it's like your own water. And why it's so amazing? Because each microsphere of hyaluronic acid takes 1000 times the volume of your own water to create like a, let's say an airbag of hydration in the same time as setting 
your makeup or your skincare. So we I can think what say was interesting, it's definitely. Yes. Nadine. Sorry, sorry, Terry. I was going to say what was interesting is that you were the first person to speak to me as a journalist about hyaluronic acid within makeup, within that beautiful blend of hybrid skincare and makeup. But I also think it was the beginning of your journey falling in love with hyaluronic acid throughout your entire so right. range and then onto the launch today. So right. I never stop investigating hyaluronic acid, not only as an ingredient, but I traveled a lot those days we could travel and I ask my scientists, they're like screening all around the world to find the best hyaluronic acid possible to include in a skincare and also in makeup because it's not the same journey to manipulate or to use hyaluronic acid in a skincare or with color. We made a lot of research, a lot, a lot of investigation, and we found a great lab specifically work for us in Korea to be able to combine. I don't know if it's time for you to tell about the new launch, but about it, it, it was great to find, you know, the best team, the best scientist to bring this exclusive complex of a hyaluronic acid that we introduce in our new launch. When so I first a... spoke to you about this, Terry, I thought it was interesting because for me, and you and I have chatted about this, both on camera and off camera, I think this for me is the first time I have ever known eight different types of hyaluronic acid at different molecular weights and sizes in a single gel cream. And truly trying is believing. I have fallen in love with this product, I really have. And you and I are both wedded to science. So talk a little bit about, and I love this story, how during lockdown, you forced your scientists to put more in, to make it better. Talk through that journey of creating something that truly I've fallen in love with. You know, during this lockdown, the first lockdown, my life changed completely. And also it's like I had a refreshing, I don't know, inspiration. And I wanted things completely different. First, I was extremely focused on skincare, but not on skincare to just create new cream, new serum, something like that, but on real component that will make a huge difference with much less products. I, it was always my philosophy, less is more. You know, my, my work is to make women and men around me feel better, to discover this, themselves more glowing, beautiful, but to stay normal people with normal life. And I wanted to make their life very much easier, but with a lot of, uh, 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 to bring them skincare, simple to use, fragrance free, because at those days, I don't know why I couldn't stand a lot of fragrance in my skincare. And I, let's say I completely rejuvenate my, my way of, of creating things. I wanted to let a lot of ingredients, very high and uh, a clean vegan ingredients and not to make it marketing and to make one and single global texture formula to be able to bring all the benefits of let's say three or four products. That's why this new hyaluronic global face cream. It's like if you have a serum, an eye contour, a cream, an oil, and all in the same very lightweight texture. I, what I loved about this is so on the packaging, you will see as clearly as anything that Terry has been completely transparent about the level of active ingredients in here. 
eight different molecular weights and sizes of hyaluronic acid, and we'll go on to chat about how they target different layers of the skin. But also we've added, and we'll go on to talk about niacinamide, which I think is the hottest ingredient in skincare, and also vegetarian, vegan squalene as well to lock all that in. And genuinely, I've used this as an eye product, a lip product, a neck product, a chest product, a serum, a calming, calming serum, a moisturizer and a mask all at once. It's incredible. I love the texture. And the texture, you know, it's amazing because it's it's like a water base, but it's not a water mm -hmm. base. And it's rich as an oil, but it's very, very uh, uh, light on the skin as a lotion. It's super nourishing as a balm. And it's it's all about fine tunings the 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 percentage of those three different elements but let's talk about the yellow the eight hyaluronic acids because that is really something unique when it came to create that new cream i really thought about a 3d hydration instant hydration when you just apply your cream with two large weight of uh, uh, acid uh, hyaluronic acid uh, molecule molecules <laughs> molecules and that's exactly so what they do they they instantly hydrate i just put it on one hand and if you could see the difference between my hands it's incredible yeah because you know those two large weight of hyaluronic acid molecules stays on top and they have special power one is a filler and one is like a sudden splash of hydration instant splash of hydration then i added two middle size weight molecular uh, of uh, hyaluronic acid um, middle size weight to be able to penetrate and to stay in the middle uh, um, uh, layer of the epidermis to create to to create remnant hydration and to keep the hydration and the four hyaluronic acid extremely thin penetrate deeply and create like a reservoir of water. Let's say those eight hyaluronic acid, each weight has his own job and target. And from instant to very long-term hydration. And that's why it has a very deep and long-lasting benefits, you know, for your skin to keep instantly hydrated, to lock the water into the skin and to keep the your own level of hydration and water in the deepest layer of your own epidermis. It's, it's can very we talk complex. About the other two, sorry, can we talk about the other two active ingredients you've got in there? Because not only are you being, I think, having delivering more hyaluronic acid in different molecular weights to the skin than I've ever seen before, and in a unique formulation, you've been very transparent about the fact that you've got the eight hyaluronic acids in here. You then clearly talk about high percentages of niacinamide vitamin B3. As I mentioned, I think the hottest ingredient in skincare. Then the, the, the olive oil derived squalene to the point where you've got 38% of active ingredients in a cream, which for me is huge. Is mind blowing. It's huge. It really is huge. You know, Can if we talk industry. about your choice of the niacinamide and the, the squalene as well. Nadine, you know very well the industry. You know how the percentage, we can play with the percentage and to, uh, and uh, the efficiency is quite sometimes different, even if you have on the label huge hyaluronic acid name. We have 3%, which is the highest possible percentage of hyaluronic acid you can introduce in a skincare. We have 5% of phytosqualine, which is also a polysaccharide. It's a natural sugar. It's with 
very high antioxidant, protective, hydrating, and, and stimulate the collagen. It's a softener also for the skin, and it's a vegan, excellent uh, um, humectant. I don't know how you say humectant in English. The it sounds much better in, with your French accent, <laughs> trust me. It's humectant, yes. Yes, and it's great, and long-term also, and minimize the risk of allergies, and uh, you can use it on a very young skin, on a very irritated skin. It's a very interesting. You, you know, there is plenty of serum only with this ingredients in uh, concentrated in 1% or 2%. Here we included 5%, which is a lot. The niacinamide is something very new, very hot, that not new, but that we, a biotech ingredient. And it's a great ingredient, especially when you use 5%, that is a percentage for a serum because it's a brightener it has a great in illuminating power in uh, uh, this skincare plus all the rest it has a very strong uh, uh, it's a barrier for pigmentation that it stops the the melanin in the deepest layer of your skin and really controls the, the pigmentation. So it's making even skin and it's an amazing ingredient to get the glow with no makeup. All that com uh, combined to the eight hyaluronic acid. What, why eight and why different weight? Because, you know, also the hyaluronic acid is a polysaccharide. And why did I want to work with polysaccharide? It's because Polysaccharides, it's a sugar, and the sugar absorb the water and lock it into your skin. And we worked, we had like a fundamental science on our eight hyaluronic on each weight to see how it works by itself. And then you, we, you know, my my scientists work with the uh, this very specific and high end uh, unit in Korea to create our exclusive bioteric complex, and they created like different chains of hyaluronic acid, different molecules, and that make the weight of the hyaluronic acid, and specifically those two large too medium and too thin. And to combine, and then we had other research and other study, how these eight hyaluronic acids are acting with 5% of niacinamide and 5% of squalene. So it's a lot of steps that bring to this amazing products all the benefits all the global benefits it's like you have let's say six or eight different products on your face and it's make a huge difference that's exactly what i was saying because for me i actually you and i have chatted um, we luckily had a, a chat when you were in the south of france and i was saying that for me we're in the uk now at the moment it's cold it's dark the we weather is cold it's windy everybody's skin feels dry and stressed and then you're inside with the central heating for me this has replaced my eye serum my lip serum my soothing niacinamide serum my hydrating serum and my moisturizer on top and i think for a lot of people they actually don't want to be confused by skincare they want to go on find a product from a brand they know and trust like by terry and have it solve their skincare problems and i think I think this is very ahead of the game in terms of you thinking about let's not have five or six different products let's have one product that actually works in so many different ways on the skin and i think it's incredibly clever of you um, and you were saying to me that you can't imagine moving forward and having lots of add-on products because you feel like you've created the best product already 
and also because I think really life is changing, you know, and for me today, the luxury of even tomorrow, it's less is more and luxury is something not just a price or a label on a jar. Luxury is something that means incredible innovation that is the reflect of a true savoir-faire, not only mine, because I had the idea, but I'm not, you know how much I love science, but I'm not a scientist. But I worked during those lockdown. I had, I, I had Zoom every day with the lab in Korea, in Paris, and it was great because I said more, more. First, it started with three ironic acid. I said, why if it's three, why we can't make more? Because it's, it wasn't just a marketing thing to add more and more because I wanted more efficiency. I, you know, I tried maybe 1000 different samples and it was always something missing. And one day it was the right one. And it's, it's a global treatment because I definitely believe that the luxury of tomorrow, it has to be affordable and to deliver what you promise and not only what you promise on a, a box or on a jar. You have to fill it. I don't, I just beg my customer or the new customer to try the products. They can try it with a very thin layer on their skin as a serum. And you know, Nadine, when we use serum, we feel like we need something to feel more comfortable because sometimes that dry. What is a serum serum in compared to a cream? It's the high concentration. And you know, the serum sometimes are concentrated 15%, 20%, but not 38% of active ingredients. So it's a serum, it's a instant hydrator, it's a deep hydrator, it's like a primer, it's like a lip contour, an eye contour. It's something that you can use as a mask if you use it in a very Absolutely. And for the neck, the neck cream, the décolleté, and it's a fi instant filler, filler, plumper, hydrator, deep in the deep layer. It's, it's um, a very global skincare. I tell you what I also find that's really interesting, bearing in mind that it's coming a, as part of the journey of you creating this incredible hyaluronic acid range. It also sits so beautifully under your entire hyaluronic collection. It really does. It's you and I were saying that we sometimes have been on a journey where we've tested serums and it's left our skin dry and tight and uncomfortable and we've needed more and more and more. This truly sits beautifully. It hydrates my skin. I can use it right up under my eyes. There's no sensitivity. You get that instant hit of moisture and water and hyaluronic acid, but that comfortableness, that sort of, that sense of comfort and moisturization. And then you can go in with your, you know, I love this, yeah. in with your hyaluronic acid foundation and it sits beautifully. It's almost like a primer as well in that way. Absolutely. And you know, all that, we worked on it. We anticipated the, the fact that sometime a rich cream, you put a rich cream under your foundation and it peels and you can't blend your, and as this foundation is totally liquid, I had to fine tune the texture to make it rich, comfortable, but also com compatible with the the liquid uh, you see it's super from very and for oily skin for dry skin for all skin types it it was you know it's like engineering it you have to think about every little thing it's not just oh you want to mix some ingredient and that's it no for me as a makeup inventor and creator as you know uh, i love science be behind colors behind texture it was very important when you put a liquid matte 
satin formula on top of this kind of watery but still smooth and silky cream to make it long lasting to make your makeup stay and not to make it patinated on your i don't know if you say patinated but we say in french patiné you see i know exactly what you mean the, the the amount of times i've tried a foundation and somehow it works one day and it doesn't work another day. And that's actually the interaction between your makeup and your skincare. It's not that the makeup's changed. And I think it's very interesting that you've launched this and that it, it sits so perfectly with your in, within your entire hyaluronic range. They actually work beautifully in synchronization with each other. And that's no accident. And I think it's really important that you explain that to people. It's not an accident. The same with the formula, the creamy formula of the new concealer, which is very creamy. It's more creamy than the foundation. So it has to work with, and especially with a fine line, because the target and the goal uh, uh, um, were to plump and to fill instantly with the concealer, the Yaluronic concealer, or the line, because it's like an eye contour with pigment. And I know usually we put the concealer only here, but I invented it to make it as an eye contour to put it here because you see, I have plenty of lines and I don't want to have only this part through, uh, uh, through uh, lissant, I don't know how you say lissant, uh, uh, perfectly uh, plump and uh, with a, uh, let's say uh, feelers um, effect all the eye contour you can use it as a um, eye primer but under this I like to wear my hyaluronic uh, global face cream because each time you wearing one of those formula is like you add a layer of skincare and it's like a layering process that hydrate stimulate your collagen and treat your skin and this is a philosophy of by terry it's not just to make you feel beautiful and with color it when we keep our makeup on your on our skin all the day long and even when we are doing them i don't know about you nadine but i'm wearing makeup and wearing maybe you know more uh, a concealer and foundation because i want to look good i want to look fresh and uh, so you're wearing more so you keep all this uh, uh skincare on your skin during 12 year, uh, uh hours let's say I think it's really interesting that you and I were chatting about this and we were saying that that at your heart, from the moment you discovered the hyaluronic powder, you knew that your makeup would have to benefit your skin as much as your skincare would. And so for me, it makes complete sense that this is this perfect blend of this skincare makeup hybrid. I love this. Like you, I'm a very smiley person. So, and I don't dislike my lines here, but Traditionally, I've had problems with concealer because you put them in here, but they tend to sit in your lines. But when you load them with hyaluronic acid and light reflective particles, actually you don't, you hydrate the skin. And this becomes part eye serum, part eye concealer, part plumper. And I just think that's very clever. And I, I do think that this, I mean, this is launched just prior to this, but they sit so beautifully under the eye together. They really do. 87% of skincare behind yes. the pigmentation it may it means a lot it's an icon yes. it's like a tinted eye contour with a very exquisite coverage now you mentioned just earlier really quickly and i want to go back onto it again because i do think this is really important why was it important for you to make the entire range vegan and i totally understand but i i'd like you to explain it from your point of view because really it's not you know i'm a mother of four i have grandchildren and i really want to leave them a nice planet 
and I'm very concerned by uh, ecology, by uh, uh, keeping things uh, 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 clean, uh, recyclable. It's not just a marketing thing. And I wanted also to make it vegan because I respect uh, my, my customer and I am vegetarian. I'm not totally vegan and I'm very happy to use vegan things, but in a, in, in, in a very, comment dire, attentive way. <coughs> sorry, Nadine. I, I think, it, sorry, I think it's really interesting because I think for you, because I know that your heart is, is you, I always think of by Terry as being that perfect blend of art and science. And I know that you would have a vegan formulation, but only if a vegan formulation really worked for you, and this does. Absolutely, that's what's the point I wanted to, to get to, because it has to work. You know, when we talk about, we can talk for hours uh, 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 about natural. It's not because you take a natural ingredient and you put it in a cream that it works. It has to sometimes to have a very high uh, technology behind, keep it very clean, but to make it, it's like in medicine. You know, my husband is a scientist. They're using vitamin E. They're using things from uh, uh, the nature, but they have a very strong, um, let's say, technical manipulation behind on and uh, to to make it a medicine. So, one vegan, one of the things you mentioned. Great. Yeah. So, sorry, no, go on. I was just going to go back to the, the use of the term clean because I think it's really important that you explain that there are many different definitions of clean, but but for you, your the clean is is aligned with the Sephora ideals of clean. So I thought you might want to chat through that a little bit. Yeah, clean because uh, we're using recyclable uh, glass. We're using you know plastic. Thirty percent at least is recyclable. We have to take care of our planet. It's important, and also now to, today, you know, the, the customer want that, and I'm very glad that it's an exigence because it has to be something be taken very seriously. You know, when uh, sometime I heard that you're going to extract water from. Uh, uh, I don't know, the Pôle Nord or from the sea, and you destroy all around just to take an algae or something, sometimes it's make me, you know, feel a little bit embarrassed. And I always, I'm pushing my lab to understand what make it good for our skin and how it's good for the planet. It's very important. I also think for our generation, that has been a revolution in skincare. As much as we've had this combination of art and science in these incredible active ingredients, the fact that you have clearly stated on the box the level of active ingredients, the percentages, you understand what your consumer needs, but you also understand that more than ever a consumer is aware of the impact that their beauty routine has on the world. And that's something that, that we've learned over the last 30 years, that we probably we wouldn't learned. have had this conversation 20 years ago, would we? Absolutely. It's not because we were nasty people. It's because we didn't know. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. we knew it, we became very concerned by that. You know, beauty is not only a fake and a money uh, maker. And uh, it, it's more than this. For me, for me, it's more than this. I remember you saying to me when you launched this um, and you were chatting to me and to all the other journalists, you were saying, I have a sneaking suspicion that I might have created the one product that by its very nature means that I probably won't need to create that many other products within this range. And that might be bad for me in terms of making money, but I think it's better for me in terms of my ethics and my and my skin. And I And I loved your transparency about that because the use of the word global here truly is global in sense in the sense that it's good for the world but also global in the sense that it, it is applicable to everybody that lives and has skin it can be used on any age any skin type any gender any skin tone texture type Absolutely. and i love that about it and why to you know it will change a lot i think you know this pandemic changed me deeply 
thank God I'm in good health. All people around me, my parents, my my uh, children, we all very well. So you have to get a little, you have to think about all of that to make your world around you better. And, mm -hmm. and I really believe that our role fa in fashion is to make uh, uh, the world better and uh, and to more respectful more honest and the, you know when i started my company 20 years ago i always and someone asked me what is luxury for you i said you know first luxury it's to create something with integrity and with honesty that reflect my own savoir faire and it's true, I put all my heart, all my spirit, all what I believe in and a lot of work, you know, I'm putting a lot, a lot of inspiration, work and uh, I'm very demanding from my own pro products. I love the conversation we had where you told me how many times you were constantly on Zoom with your scientists in Korea saying, no, again. Put more in it, make it better. And I love that because I love the film. I, I sort of have this image of you as champion good skin on our behalf. And I love that. Of course, because you are the same. I remember you yeah. asking me questions. I said, oh my God, I can't answer. It's so embarrassing. I have to work more. I know how I did it, but I can't. And because you, you still are, but you were the most uh, integre and demanding journalists for skincare and makeup. You were, we couldn't ch cheat you, you say that, like that. Yes. Say, oh, this is new, <laughs> this is great, it's expensive, so it's luxury and it works. You say, come on, Terry. I remember that. I remember those uh, when I was working for another label, as a, for another brand. <laughs> but I think what's interesting is I genuinely think uh, and I, I hope I'm not mistaken in this, but I genuinely think that this for me is the first luxury product that is being transparent about the level of active ingredients in it, the percentages of those active ingredients, how it's been formulated, but also in the sense that it is, it is a sort of universal product for all ages and all skin types. And I also love the fact that it sits well under makeup, whether you use makeup or not. I think for some people that there's this drive towards having endless steps, but I think there's a growing need for consumers for transparency, for authenticity, for integrity, but also for something that, that simply makes their skin look and feel better from a brand they know and trust. And I feel that that's what you've created. I'm loving it at the moment. And I'm, I'm in lockdown and the weather is cold and it's not good, but I can see using this and this being a sort of go-to cream year round for all skin types and all skin ages as well. And it's illuminate the skin with no makeup. And it's so, it's such a great feeling to wake up at morning and to see your skin. I'm using it as a mask, as a night mask in a thick layer and also on my hand. And I had a spot on my hand and they disappeared completely. And day after day, it makes the job and you see it. Obviously. It's very interesting because you were saying that about the niacinamide. You were saying that one of the reasons that you were interested in niacinamide is you were saying that your husband introduced you to it as well. Yes. From his scientific medical background. And I love that. For those people that might not know, niacinamide is vitamin B3 that's found naturally in the skin and in the diet, but that sadly depletes with age or illness or, you know, that sort of thing. So I love your journey and you your husband and you almost chatting about this sort of scientific development and this nutritional development. I imagine you're doing it over a good glass of wine. <laughs> Absolutely. And I love reading the Lancet journal. You know, he's, he, he, at least it's almost the same, not the same ingredients, but he, you know, he works on antibiotics and cancer and now also on COVID and things like that. And they're doing a lot of things that when you are getting interested in, in development, in research, I, you know, I started my, uh, my life I, as a student, uh, as a medical student. I was programmed mm -hmm. to uh, be a doctor and uh, I became a makeup artist and I'm very happy. Uh, but I love science and I love to understand how I can use 
very substantial science in the cosmetic and glamorous uh, world, not to make it as a medicine you put on your, not to, to uh, use it as to solve a disease or something, because it's still a cosmetic. But I think what's interesting is I think you have that integrity and that science behind something that is beautiful. And for me, I'm absolutely using it every single day. I've noticed that my skin is instantly hydrated. It's instantly plumped out. It's got a sort of brightness to it. But I think more importantly, it, it has replaced three or four other products. It's sort of, be, it's in a way, it's taken me back to a time when skincare was simpler and easier to understand, which I think a lot of people yearn for, and particularly at this time. So for me, it's it's been the most molecules of hyaluronic acid that I've been introduced to. And can I just say, on behalf of my skin, thank you. I've, I've really, and I enjoy <laughs> using it. It's light, it's easy to use, and it's truly pleasant to use. And I think, and it sits beautifully under makeup. But like you say, I use it at night as well. So... Merci, I think you might have done yourself merci. out of creating a whole new generation of products here because we've just got the one product. <laughs> and you're no, not but going I'm to tease working, it out of our hands. I'm working, I'm working on a new generation of products with a lot of hyaluronic acid, you will see. for With color, without color, it's very interesting. Very interesting. I'm working oh, that's the for perfect lashes, way to end for, this. No, 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 it's very that's interesting because, you know, point. You remember when the Wall Street Journal named me named me the Steve Jobs of cosmetics because yeah. you know I want to make my products simple as an iPhone but super charge of technology as an iPhone <laughs> even a kid <laughs> can use it <sighs> Honestly that's the, that's the perfect moment on which to end so can I just say that this is the product this is absolutely beautiful and I have been using it, I think that's nearly three weeks now and I've noticed a real difference in my, my skin. This is the Viteri Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. And I'm going to highlight again, eight different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, which is really important. 5% niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, which has a fundamental effect on the skin and science is just beginning to pick up how important it is both in the barrier function and in the brightness of skin and 5% of an olive oil derived vegan squalene, which just gives your skin a sense of comfort. It's almost like putting a cashmere blanket around your skin and it locks in that hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So for me, it, it really is a one-stop shop for great skin. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you so much for creating it. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you. <laughs> now, can I just sit, say towards the end that um, there is a link to the product and everything you need to know in the description box so you can click under this and link through and you'll find all the information of the stockists and where to find it prices of where you are and all the details but uh hopefully that this presentation has been interesting informative it's given you an insight into terry's world which is as i would like to say i think she's a beauty icon who manages to combine the world of science and art to create truly groundbreaking beauty products. We've all fallen in love with the hyaluronic powder. There's the tint powder, the pressed powder, the foundation, but the two new products are the brand new global hyaluronic cream and then also the concealer. If they can make my eyes look good, they can make anybody's eyes look good. So uh -huh. thank you, Terry, I appreciate it. I appreciate thank you for bringing you, a little Nadine. bit more beauty into our world. You are the best, Nadine, you are the best. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Terry. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. A bientôt.